Today, we have a new battery from Alkmo. All right, so these are 12 volt, 100 amp hour lithium iron phosphate batteries. These are group 24 size. They have a smart BMS, uh, features low temperature protection here. Let's go ahead and weigh these guys. And we have come in at 22.4 pounds. Let's check the voltage because I want to parallel these two together and charge them up at the same time. So battery one, 13.3 volts. Battery two, 13.3 volts. So it's safe to parallel these together. All right, now let's charge these guys up. All right, the batteries are fully charged. I've got the app up and we are seeing 100% state of charge. It does use the Shizing JBD BMS app. Uh, so we can actually scan the other battery here. Let's see if I can, there we go. And it is also 100%. I've got my shunt set up and I've got it set to 200 amp hours since we have two 100 amp hours in parallel. I've got my inverter hooked up, so let's go ahead and turn it on. And I've got the heater as the load. And we are pulling just slightly over 1000 watts, about 78 amps. So we'll just let that continue on and see if we get the full 200 amp hours. All right, we are down to 1%. Uh, so we are almost complete. We have almost discharged a full 200 amp hours out of these guys. We have 3.2 amp hours left to go. All right, so we're down to zero, uh, but we still have 0.8 amp hours left. Here we go, and there we go. We have discharged a full 200 amp hours. So these guys do live up to their rated capacity. All right, so I've got the lid popped off here. Uh, but first, before we open this up, I forgot to mention in the discharge test, um, these would have gone a little further, but my shunt uh, doesn't register any more than what you have it set at. So I wouldn't have known exactly how much. Um, so they did make the full capacity and there's still, there was still some left in there to be milked out. All right. So I got the lid off. Like I just said, um, this is something new that I don't think I've seen. These don't actually have any glue on them. Um, they have, if you look here, these little indentions, they're clipped. So inside the, the lid, there's a little latch, a little catch uh, that clips onto the case. So this came off uh, pretty easy. I just got into the corner here and lift this clip back and I noticed right away uh, there was no glue in there. Usually there's a lot more resistant. And so I just kind of went through and popped each one of those clips up and it just opened right up. I don't know if that's a plus or <laughs> certainly a plus if you want to be able to get into this thing, I guess. <laughs> um, so there we are. Uh, we have our BMS at the top. Uh, it has like a metal frame, it looks like. And uh, it, it is a JBD BMS, it says JBD. 
Now I feel that these cells should be able to come out real easy. They're not actually, they're not very wedged in there. They're just kind of setting in here. So let's see. Yep, right out. So on the positive side, we have this flexible bus bar, actually. Uh, that's kind of a first. I don't know that I've seen that. Well, on this style battery. I've seen them on other style batteries. And then we have prismatic cells. Uh, we do have material. We do have insulation material between each cell. That is good. This metal bracket here has some foam between it and the cells and on the bottom, on the sides. Uh, that is good. It has a strap, metal strap that goes all the way around the top. Wood foam in between it and the cells. And then the bracket extends up for a plate where the BMS is screwed down to the plate. That's good. A little foam piece here on top of the BMS, that's where the lid would kind of rest on that to keep this thing from flopping up and down. On the BMS we have two 8 gauge, 200 degrees Celsius silicone jacketed wire. Now one thing I am noticing here, it looks like these, these lugs are a little larger than a little bit larger than this screw here. Yeah, we can see the screw. <laughs> My uh, digital caliper is dead here, but we can just use the little marks that are on here to see. So the inside of that hole it looks about eight or nine millimeter. Yeah, that's sized for like an M8. So that's an M8 bolt. And this is the screw. And that thing is like around, I don't know, five or six or something. I would have rather seen, you know, a, a closer match there. I see the QR codes right here. I can't get a read on it. Yeah, I can't really get a read on it. And here's a picture of it. I can't really make anything out. So I'm not sure what these cells are. All right, so here's a little thermal sensor. Let's uh, check to see if the low temperature protection works. All right, so we are putting in 41.8 amps. Let's uh, try to freeze this little temperature sensor here up and see if it stops charging. Yep, it sure did. All right, so we got working low temperature protection. All right, guys, so I think that's gonna wrap up the video. Let me know what you think about these batteries down in the comments. I'll leave links in the description if you guys want to check these out. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you on the next one.